Good morning, everybody. I am... Oh, shoot. I just took a picture. What the hell happened? It's a Saturday. It is... What day is it today? November, like, 4th, I think. Yes. November 3rd, and I'm in the car. I'm actually on the phone with Tyrone right now. But I'm at a park in Mississauga. Well, it's a... It's a park slash trail, and I have three photo shoots today. <laughs> I just sent him a picture of Mad Ski Boo. She was naked. <laughs> she has like a red a patch on her chest. You see it? Yeah, I see it. It's like I a it. it's a dry patch. But <laughs> here I'll show you the picture of Madeline Chubsters. But I just finished meeting up with a mom her daughter and their dog and i got a few photos of the dog well i know i got a lot of photos of the dog and i also got a lot of photos of the mom as well with that just one photo shoot i already have almost seven 700 photos which is crazy with my next couple photo shoots i'm gonna have over a thousand no maybe two thousand photos who knows i'm here i didn't vlog because i was actually really i was late for this shoot but i'm gonna be early for the next shoot i'm gonna be there about 20 30 to 20 minutes early so i'm just gonna vlog the area for you guys to see which i wanted to do but every time i try to do that i'm always late so <laughs> but anyways uh, i just wanted to update you guys and i'll probably give you a sneak peek of some of the photos that i took i'll probably show you one or two of the dogs and I'm probably not going to show you guys of the mom but if you guys go onto my Instagram page which is Kelly Lee Photography it's in the description down below I will update you guys later on my next photo shoot yeah here I'll just give you a little sneak peek of a picture with the dog it doesn't it never wants to focus I don't know why so you know what let me just show you guys the picture that I took on the phone my camera never wants to focus I don't know why it never wants to focus but here here's a photo of a photo of a photo <laughs> there's um it looks blurry but it's actually not blurry so i'm here i am just trying to set up the camera where should i put it? right here anyways okay so i'm here i'm in a parking lot right now i just finished getting tim hortons so i want to show you guys what i got at tim hortons i got some coffee this is a double double and then i'm just gonna turn off the car because I'll probably be here for a bit. And also, I got... Oh, it's 11 right now. And I also got a hash brown and... Some old guy is looking at me. Um, some English muffin. Sausage English muffin. People are probably thinking I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself, which people are crazy nowadays. Everybody's crazy. So, I'm here. I should find a bank. There's no bank around here. But I'm going to eat my food now. After I eat my food, I'm just going to look through the photos that I took just now and delete some. And then delete the ones that are obviously not like good, like blurry ones and whatnot. Probably delete some. And then I'm going to make my way to my next photo shoot location and i'm probably gonna get home super early today too i thought i was gonna be home late but i think the latest i'm gonna be home is probably two maybe 2 30 ish depending on traffic or whatever but we'll see because i got here super quick but i'm gonna eat now and once i get to the next location i will bring the vlog camera and show you guys a little bit of the location because i never really vlog the places that i go to which i really want to because you have to see how beautiful it is it's just so nice Anyways, um, I'm going to eat now and I will check up later. I was able to find a setup that can work a little bit so you guys can see me. But I actually wanted to talk a little bit about something that has been going on in my mind for a bit now. Like for a month, maybe two months. Actually from when I started this uh, business that I am doing. It doesn't involve anyone. It just involves what I am thinking and my motivation and my inspiration on starting this business because I actually never really talked about why I wanted to do this. And this might be a long one, so if you guys do not want to listen to me rant about, you know, my life and about, you know, things that happened in the past and whatever I went through just for me to get to this point in time in my life, then skip it. I will be talking about it for a bit, um, but I will also be vlogging for the rest of the way with all of my other clients to the locations not the clients i started this photography business because number one i want to work for myself i want to have my own schedule i want to be able to be my own boss and i know for a fact that a lot of people want to be their own boss too but they 
obviously have to work for others first to be able to get to the point of being their own boss and some people might not want to be their own boss and to have to deal with so many things like employees and you know taxes and running your own business because it is a lot of work there are so many ways to be your own entrepreneur and to run your own business and to do your own thing and there's a lot of businesses out there that are super successful because one person started it that is my motivation and I really want to be my own boss and just being on YouTube already I get to make my own schedule I get to post whenever I want whatever I want however I want and say what I want and if there are haters out there then so be it I honestly don't give a crap about who says what and what they say behind my back or behind closed doors and all the shit that they talk and how all the hate that they are giving I mean, not that anybody's really giving me any hate right now, but I know for a fact that in the future, there will be a time where people will hate on you because they're jealous, they're envious, or whatever, you know, for any type of reason, they'll just hate on you because of what you have and the things that are you are doing so um my inspiration started a long long time ago that being one thing of being my own boss but also because at one point i really wanted to be a social worker and i wanted to help kids in need i wanted to help foster children in need and sorry i'm looking at my phone because anyways just forget about that i wanted to be a social worker and help children in need foster children any children who got left behind by their parents those who weren't wanted in the foster system I wanted to help those kids and that was really something that I really wanted to do I wanted to help people that was one reason why I wanted to get into social work another reason why is because I used to be in a foster home not because you know my parents didn't want me or because you know of whatever reason but I was temporarily put in a foster home because of a situation that happened with my family long long time ago when i was about in grade three or four it's over and done with i'm still with my parents um i was only in a foster home for a week that really sparked my mind and sparked my motivation to become a social worker when i got into um studying to become a social worker i was in the social work program i went into a social work program for about two years and after that two years i decided that was not for me and i hated it I dropped out and then I decided, you know what, I am going to figure out what I want to do without, you know, jumping into college and spending $5,000 on college funds I am still owing back. Spent all that money to go into something that I didn't want to do. And honestly, when I jumped into social work, I thought that is exactly what I wanted to do because I knew I didn't want to waste money on something that I didn't want to do. But at the end of the day, I realized that is not what I wanted to do. So I dropped out and I didn't go to school. And now I owe money back to the government because I borrowed money for school. I had an inspiration to start a photography business about maybe a year ago when I got my camera. This camera I have right now, it is the Nikon D3200. My first DSLR camera that we bought with our own money. That sparked me. Not only buying this camera sparked me to start a photography business. But also in a way that I am helping people. But also using photography in a way to help people. And not help people in like an emotional or physical or you know life stability kind of way. But more of an emotional way where you can make somebody happy. And make somebody feel really good about themselves or with themselves or with the memories that they are creating with them with their families you know with their children and whatnot photography is a really good way to do that because if you are taking photos and if you are helping them create memories like you know taking photos of a birthday or a baby shower or a baptism or an anniversary or even just a regular family portrait or even like holiday photos or christmas photos or you know fall photos or halloween photos anything relating you know to just getting your family together and taking photos to create those memories they will be there forever and whether you keep them on your computer or a hard drive or even print them out physically you will always always have that memory you were this age your husband or your boyfriend was this age your son or your daughter was this age and your dog was this age and you guys will rem look back at the photos and remember like all the laughs that you've had all of the you know crazy memories 
memories before that all of the times that you had to throw up the leaves in this photo to be able to get a good shot or you know things like that and I honestly feel like making somebody feel good about themselves because of the photos that they take and to be able to help them treasure and create these milestones and memories especially with baby photography as well you know you want to get a shot of a baby at six months or a year or three months or two weeks or newborn or whatever those types of memories and milestones are really treasured especially if you take photos and it will always 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 be there for you and I feel like that is why I really want to start this business and having all these people message me to help me out and to appreciate me and to appreciate my work and also to be able to you know let me use their photos to start my own business that is something i appreciate a lot and helping them create these memories whether it's free or paid it just it really warms my heart as well and to be able to meet all of these people different backgrounds different personalities different cities different locations and being able to travel the city and get to know my city a lot more and a lot better it's also a bonus for me as well and honestly I just appreciate all of the people who are supporting me right now my friends my boyfriend and the clients who do message me and ask me to take their photos and to let me use their photos for my portfolio it really just it's it's a big thing you know like it's a two-way street I give them photos they let me use the photos to start my business and at the end of the day I help all of these clients create memories and treasured uh, milestones and they help me build my business that you know one day is going to be a legacy one day it's gonna be something big for my daughter for my future kids because maybe they'll want to get into photography as well or you know if they want to work with me then we can start you know a bigger business like wedding photography or something like that you know what I mean now that I'm looking around I realize there's a lot of people in this parking lot but anyways that is my rant so um, I'm gonna finish eating and what time is it it is 11 20 which means I have to finish eating and make my way to my next location so i will see you guys there i'm here at the park just going to throw away some garbage there's a cute little park here that we might get some photos at and also gonna get some photos at the swing here here's the swing set which is nice can you guys see that um there's also a river over there where somebody is kayaking so that's new never um i actually saw somebody kayaking in a canoe or canoeing before too in the previous uh, location uh, one person but i'm just gonna take a look around here's a bridge it's a beautiful bridge here and get a nice shot of this that'd be cute and here's the river super cute river i mean obviously the water's not blue or whatever but that's nice we can get some shots here here's some on that side and also where the guy's kayaking over there we can probably get a closer shot of the river or maybe right down there just taking a look and seeing oh there's also a bench over there and a trail that goes down so and my hair is just going all over my face i'm just taking like a quick look around before my next client comes okay i'm just gonna get some shots and i'll update you guys later when i am finished just finished at my last photo shoot for today i am at the meadowvale conservation area beautiful place <laughs> Here's a nice tree, it's a huge tree. There's also a washroom here and it's a big place. So if you wanna have like a picnic here or something, you can, here's a washroom. They have little picnic areas and benches. I'm actually not sure if they have any barbecue areas, but I think they do. Home. Okay, oh, and her pacifier fell. There we go. Got home and we just did a few errands. I actually went to go get the stroller. I think, I don't know if I talked about it, but I bought a stroller because we're actually gonna be using it for New York. I bought a stroller. I bought the Summer Infant 3D Light stroller. It's actually a really compact, very light, convenient stroller that we are going to be using for New York City. Um, I actually didn't buy it specifically for New York City. I kind of wanted to get something. Well, actually, no, I did. I bought it for New York City, but I also did a lot of research on it decide what kind of stroller I wanted to get because I wanted to be able to use it in the long run so getting this stroller is actually really good because if 
you haven't been to New York before, if you haven't done any research or if you don't live in New York, then you won't know that um, the system, the transit system actually won't let you bring a full-size stroller onto the transit unless it's folded up. And I was not trying to bring her full stroller, the one that we bought with the travel system. I wasn't trying to bring that. Folding it and carrying that around would be such a freaking hassle. And that's why we decided on the 3D light. Lots of good reviews. Very compact, very light. And it also comes with a cup holder, a very big storage system at the bottom, a storage basket, and it has a strap. So when you fold it up, you can swing it over your shoulder. Maddie's here. Say hi. This is the first time you're being in the vlog today. Mommy went around the city, did photo shoots and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're cooking. I'm making chicken wings. Tyron's making potatoes. We're gonna have that for dinner. Oh, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in. I don't think we're gonna do anything later on. It's 6 o'clock right now. So I'm actually going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you live in the Toronto or GTA area, if you want to book a photo session with me, then check the link down below. Uh, my Instagram's there. My email's there. So contact me there. And Tyron's right there. Say hi. What's up, guys? And say hi. He doesn't care. Anyways, so um, I'm going to end this video here. Watch more vlogs, then subscribe to that channel. Click the red button and the bell to get notifications. No one wants me. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Peace.